वेलकम टू सन माइकल्स एकेडमी बेतियास ई लर्निंग क्लास ऑफ इंग्लिश क्लास फाइव सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डू द पोएम स्प्रिंग रिटन बाय कार्ला कस्किंग सो वी विल डू द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ द पोएटिस कार्ला कस्किंग शी वॉज बॉर्न इन नाइनटीन थर्टी टू एंड डाइड इन टू थाउजेंड नाइन कार्ला कस्किंग वॉज a successful american author poet is later and reviver of the children's literature kasking was born for her poetic and musical style of writing kasking illustrated nearly half of the books she wrote carla kasking once said that there was no television when she was a child according to her that was a good thing because she learned to entertain herself without a tv she got used to day dreaming reading writing and drawing the central idea of the poem spring is welcoming spring the speaker welcomes the lively weather through words that denote color beauty and eagerness the poet welcomes the lively weather through using different metaphors which adds color beauty richness in the poem the use of rhyming words create a rhythm and music in the lines the poem is written in simple language giving a feeling of lightness The poem is full of similar sounding words like buzzing black bees, light leaping goat, shouting singing, winging swinging and so on that add to the musical quality that is a repetition of several words to show strong feeling. Now I will read the poem I am shouting I am singing I am I am swinging through trees I am winging sky high with the buzzing black bees I am the sun I am the moon I am the dew on the rose I am a rabbit whose habit is twitching his nose I am livingly I am lovely I am kicking my heels I am crying come dance to the fresh water eels I am racing through meadows without any coat I am gulping lamp I am a light leaping goat I am a bird I am bloom I am a dove on the wing I am running on the rooftops and welcoming spring Now first we will do the word meaning of this poem winging means flying kicking my heels means doing things that i enjoy fresh water eels means types of thin long fish that appear in fresh water sources like springs streams and rivers gulping means running or jumping about playfully a dove on the wing means a dove that is flying now the first stanza first i will read the first stanza then i will do the explanation work I am shouting I am singing I am swinging through trees I am winging sky high with the buzzing black bees explanation so the poetess wanted to say that about her reaction to the first day of spring she says she is shouting singing swinging 
and flying with the bees her action shows us that how excited she is already so children what is the mood of the speaker in this stanza the poetish she is very happy and full of excitement and she already welcoming the spring with all the happiness and excitement in her now the second stanza i am the sun i am the moon i am the dew on the rose i am a rabbit whose habit is twitching his nose so in this stanza the poetess wanted to say that she becomes one with nature itself she says she is the sun moon dew on the rose and the rabbit who has a habit of twitching his nose these lines show the speaker's closeness to nature so children why does she says she is the sun the moon the dew and the rabbit why she is saying that because she is so happy with the advent of the spring that she wishes to identify with everything that signifies spring to her as she is dancing about now the third stanza i am lively i am lovely i am kicking my heels i am crying come dance to the fresh water eels so in this stanza the poetess wanted to say that she goes back to talking about her feelings she feels lively lovingly and calls upon the fresh water to dance with her she is doing things that she always enjoy now children tell me how does she feels about herself will the fresh water eels be able to dance with her no they will not but it is her way of asking them to join in her celebration of spring now the last stanza i am racing through meadows without any coat i am golping lamp i am a light leaping goat i am a bird i am a bloom i am a dove on the wing i am running on the rooftops and welcoming spring so in this stanza the poem ends with her beautifully describing herself running through the meadows without her winter clothes meadow means a piece of grassland specially one used for hay so here welcoming spring and once again becoming everything that spring stands for a lamp a goat a flower and a dove now homework for you what you have to do you have to write 12 lines of this poem spring and write the poet's name also in your copy i hope you understood the explanation of this poem thank you